News on the hour, sponsored by Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend Dog Food. I'm Peter King. Here's the Southwest Sizzles. It's 104 in Las Vegas and headed higher. Here's CBS's Ben Trace. We're looking at about 109 degrees here today, so if you want to call that a cool down from 111, I guess you could, but I, I don't think anyone's going to notice the difference here today. Here's 103 in Phoenix, a relatively balmy 95 in Houston, where Reliant Energy's Bill Clayton says the utility is helping the city open more than 20 cooling stations. Because of our proximity to the Gulf of Mexico, Mexico, heat and humidity create just an unbelievable cocktail of, of difficulty for everyone. President Biden has been back to Normandy for a second day to talk democracy. Here, CBS's Linda Kenyon. There was a point to hop that Army Rangers scaled the seaside cliffs to overtake German artillery at great cost to themselves. And now, says the President, it is up to the U.S. to carry on their legacy. We need to make the solemn vow. To never let them down. And that means maintaining the fight against dictatorship and in support of democracy. They're not asking us to do their job. They're asking us to do our job. As Biden walked from the podium, the collective crowd listened to the wind whistling over the cliffs and heard the voices of DJ. Hunter Biden's gun trial is done for the day after testimony from his daughter. Yes, it's Scott McFarlane in Wilmington. Naomi Biden, who was a defense witness, testified that her father seemed to be doing better. Hunter Biden seemed to be improving from the depths of drug addiction during that pivotal period of time in which prosecutors say he unlawfully possessed a gun while knowingly using or being addicted to drugs. A man, a woman, and a child are dead in South Florida in what police believe was a murder-suicide. Miami-Dade Police Detective Luis Sierra says it happened this morning at a bank. She was at the ATM line when uh, an unknown subject pulled in, pulled next to an SUV and opened fire killing both the female and the child, and then killing himself. He says so far investigators have no motive and no knowledge of the relationship between the three. The Supreme Court has released its annual report on the finances of justices. Katanji Brown-Jackson reports getting nearly $900,000 for her memoir and four concert tickets from Beyonce for one of her shows. Clarence Thomas reported travel expenses five years after the trips that were paid for by others. The Labor Department says employers added 272,000 jobs to the economy last month. CBS's Jill Schlesinger. Sectors that saw growth, health care adding 68,000 jobs, government 43,000, leisure and hospitality continuing to add 42,000 jobs, and retail services adding 13,000 jobs. On Wall Street, the Dow is up 48 points, the NASDAQ down 23. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 65 degrees in San Francisco, California.